One of the things I'd really like to stress the importance of, and that goes just as much for putting out the virus or whether you're putting out bait for rabbits, and that's the importance of doing the job of free feeding correctly, because free feeding does a number of things. One, it trains the rabbits to eat sort of the medium that you want them to eat that you're eventually going to put the poison or the virus on. The other thing is that you learn by where they're eating and where they're not eating, um, where you're actually going to put your bait, but also it can give you a guide to how much bait you actually want to put out because you don't want to be putting out large quantities of bait and then find that it's not getting eaten and then you need to go and pick it up. So ideally if you get the correct amount of bait out to suit the amount of rabbits out of there, you'll get a very good clean up of the amount of bait. There'll be very little left over. So what we have here is an area where we've previously put out some free feed. And as we can see, the free feed's pretty well all gone. There's a little bit of rabbit dung in the furrow that we made previously. And so we know that the rabbits have taken the free feed. So now's the time to put put out the treated carrot so you can just freshen up the furrow a bit and it's just in each location it doesn't require all that much because all we're trying to do is introduce the disease to the population of rabbits we actually don't need to get every rabbit to eat the uh, carrot because ultimately once they're infected the disease will do the rest by itself um, important considerations with putting it out is well, picking on areas where the rabbits are eating, so finding their feeding areas, um, creating a little bit of a disturbance in the ground, a little furrow or something, because the rabbits are attracted to freshly turned up dirt, and when they come to it they'll find the carrot. And the other important thing is to actually do it as late as you can in the day, because you don't want the carrot to be out sort of during the middle of the hot, hot day. Um, because the carrot won't be quite so attractive by the end of the day, it'll tend to dehydrate a bit. So in the evening is the best time to actually put out the carrot.